Hey, what's going on, Travis Red again? Just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, so, guys, I've been guided to give you a reading on where you're currently at, spiritual wise. Um, so, if you're facing any blocks or if you're going through any transformation, this video is going to be for you. Um, my videos are timeless and these are general readings. Um, so, if it doesn't really resonate with you, go check out another reader. Um, they might be able to guide you as um, better than this video can. Um, if any of you guys are interested in a personal reading, you can send me an email um, or you can send me a DM on Instagram. So let's see what, um, what guidance has to come out for the collective today to see where you're at um, in your current journey or current, currently experiencing. <laughs> all right so the first card that come out is grounding so right now it is important to um be grounding to get out into mother nature um in england today the sun's out so go out and try and enjoy some of the sun um but yeah grounding is very important right now um because the energies that are coming in with the solar flash i think it is the full moon's coming up tomorrow there's a lot going on energy wise so it's important to ground um that's why some of you may be feeling a bit dizzy or feeling um a bit um unbalanced a bit unstable on your feet at the moment that's due to being ungrounded if some of you can um go and earth 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 is earthing is important go and, um hug a tree or walk on mother earth um to grant anchor in their new energies because people think ascension is about raising the vibration and it's about actually anchoring the energy in um let's see what comes up next your next card is omens some of you are very in touch with the moon um some of you may be coming on your period soon um some of you are starting to notice a lot of signs from your angels and guides um or your guides are trying to get in contact with you. Some of you may be seeing a lot of synchronicities, like one 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 two two two. Um, some of you are very intuitive um, and in tune with the mystic side. Um, yeah, some of you. Some of you are in touch with birds as well. Some of you may be able to um, communicate with birds. Um, I'm getting ravens or crows for some reason. That may be um, a raven or crow, may be your spirit animal. Um, and then your next card is perception. So some of you guys are is some of you guys perception of the world is definitely changing, and you're starting to see how um, things no longer resonate with you, and you're starting to see how the world really is. Uh, the 3D matrix is falling apart. Um, some of you are becoming more balanced and um, trying to balance out your internal world and external world. External world. Um, some of you are like a rose. What I'm seeing, you know, when a rose um, just starts to bloom. Some of you are like it's just opening, but it's not fully open yet. So some of you are in that kind of uncomfortable phase. Is what I'm getting in your journey right now. Um, if you're in that uncomfortable phase, the cocoon phase, as I call it, um, try to be um, be kind to yourself because that phase is very uncomfortable. A lot of things may be coming up to the surface to be healed and released um, emotionally, mentally. And some of you may be getting physical problems um, from uh, when things arise up, should I say. <laughs> and then your next card is psychic abilities. Psych not psychic abilities, psychic development. So some of you guys, your your gifts or your superpowers as I call it, they're coming online. Um so some of your your intuition um may be going through the roof right now. Um some of you may be getting um what's the word? Intuition. Yeah, some of you I'm getting um telepathies coming coming through now. Some of you um, are telepathic, and some of you are um, can read energy really well. Some of you may be becoming mediums as well. Um, and once again, you're going through your <laughs> voice. Well, it shows a swan there, but you guys, from what I'm seeing, is you're not the swan yet. 
your you know like the ugly duckling when it's like it's like brown or gray or whatever and then it turns into the swan user currently in that phase so you're um you may be getting glimpses of your psychic abilities um or your superpowers and they're going to be growing or you might be developing them but um yeah you're beginning to become more online should i say which is very interesting some of you need to go out and get some sun also um some of you need to be staying hydrated as well and the next card is abundance so the universe is abundant so what i'm getting some of you are feeling stuck where you're at because of financial reasons like job or maybe not working um but so maybe it might be time to try figure out ways of getting money without relying on the system because the system is going to shit um so you may be wanting to do check out this is what i'm being told um because the 3d stuff is going to cease to exist so you've got to find other means of making money without the system should i say so if you've got your gifts and what i keep telling people is as well if you've got a um, social media platform and you do oracle card readings or you do your practicing certain things um yeah share it with your share it on your channel um so because other people will be able to relate to it no matter how stupid you think it is um because like i keep saying everything's already been said but the message gets delivered differently every time so what i say when you say it, you might be able to say it differently and someone else might be able to understand it um but the universe is abundant so if you're coming from a place of lack um lack is going to manifest in your reality so try to hold high vibrational thoughts about money um some of you may need to work on your root chakra you're still in that survival mode um of security um yeah def some of you definitely need to start trying to check out um yeah, some of you need to start um, an online business or getting called. You, you're doubting yourself, is what I'm getting. Um, you've got ideas, a lot of ideas, um, but you're not taking action on them. Um, maybe due to confidence issues, maybe low self-esteem, or um, some of you need to do work on your, your solar plexus chakra also. Um... And then the next card is stripping illusions. So some of these are beginning to see the real truth in situations. Um, like I said, the the three D world is ceasing to exist. So some of some people are just beginning to wake up as well and starting to see things are not fully adding up, um, which is awesome. Some people are starting to. Some of you are d digging deep. Some of you are not satisfied. Um, I'm getting relationship wise. I'm just gonna say it. Some of you, um, maybe your relationship, you, um, you thought it was working for you, but it's not. Um, and you're beginning to see that it's not actually on the same path as where you're at. Um, so you're beginning to see through the illusion, like this, that relationship no longer serves you, and it's okay to grow and change. You don't have to be stuck in a situation that no longer serves you. Um, yeah, some 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 people maybe some of these are having a spiritual awakening, or someone you know is having a spiritual awakening, just waking up to the illusion of all the bullshit that's going on. Um, yeah, and your next card is discernment. And I come right under in, your intuition. So any situation that you are experiencing any situation that you're experiencing any lesson um you have to see if it feels right to you um so if you're going down a certain i don't know let's just use a road for an example um if you're walking down a certain road and you get this like feeling of heaviness um that means that road's not for you you can still go down that road but you're going to find a lot of obstacles down that road um and it's up to you to discern whether it's um for you or not for you like what you see in the news um, is it true or is it not true? It depends whatever sits and resonates with you. So in any situation, it's about using your discernment, not listening to someone else because someone else's discernment is going to be totally different to yours. Um, 
so yeah if you want to make a certain decision on something um don't do it impulsively um try to sit with it and then make the choice whether, whether there's no right or wrong in in this universe there's no right or wrong there's only lessons so you can either choose to go down the path with least resistance or you can go down the path with resistance that choice is totally up to you but there's going to be lessons in both whether you want to choose the hard road or the 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 easy road that is totally up to you but um yeah you're being called to use your your discernment um and your intuition will never guide you wrong in a situation as well so um yeah tune into your inner clock and then your next card is ancient wisdom some of you are getting downloads, man. Some of you, um, I don't really get. I get some ancient wisdom, but um, I know one of my soul family, uh, my, my soul brother, he gets a lot of ancient wisdom downloads. You should check out his channel as well. Um, um, but yeah, he gets a lot of downloads. Um, so some of you may be coming online, getting a lot of downloads. Um, some of these may be have it realizing you had past lives in certain maybe Egypt is what I'm getting Egypt or Atlantis is what I'm getting um, <coughs> some of these may be shamans as well some of these are very in tune with the how things work so um, you know like some of these sorry <laughs> some of you are drawn to like the spiritual arts and the the mystic side of things and it comes to you with ease so i don't know say for instance you walk into a house and you can feel the energy is heavy you might like oh yeah no i need staging or or some incense or something you can just get the pool or drawn to like crystals and and stuff like that so you're getting um yeah you're not new, new to you're not new to the ride should i say some of these may be waking up and just beginning to get downloads and um, ancient wisdom starting to come through because your energy is rising also um, <laughs> um, the next card is reunion of souls so uh, some of you are on this twin flame journey as well and it's so frustrating um, my advice to you is just work on yourself um, it's so frustrating at, at times especially if you know your twin or you've come across your twin um, or have contact with your twin it's so um, so frustrating and there's usually always a conscious twin and an unconscious a conscious twin and an unconscious twin and there's usually um, a divine masculine and divine feminine the divine masculine doesn't have to be in a male body and the divine feminine doesn't have to be in a woman body energy hasn't got a gender so you could be a divine feminine in a man body and a divine masculine in a woman body yeah like you know you may get some masculine women and that that's because they're more divine feminine divine masculine um but yeah some of you um union uh, un some of you may be coming into union um soon no it's coming it's coming it's coming soon it's coming it's on its way but until it comes just work on yourself because your twin is a reflection of you so if you're not working on yourself they're not going to be working on th themselves what you do for yourself you do for your twin so if you're lacking in confidence no they're usually a mirror so one of these may be confident and the other one may lack in confidence it's about finding the balance um and more time that is more for the conscious twin to be doing the work because the, the unconscious twin ain't even going to be knowing what's going on. Um, yeah, so some of you are on the Twin Flame German journey. I didn't even know about the bloody Twin Flame journey until 2020. And it basically, it's a whole journey in itself. Oh God, it's a whole journey in itself. Um, you start getting to, you, you get to a certain point in your journey where you, you're healing. And then that is just like another journey in itself, man. It kind of sucks to a certain degree. Um, the next card is integration. So some of you are integrating your higher self. Um, some of you, yeah, some of you are integrating your hi higher self. Some of you are shedding old patterns and belief systems. 
um, and becoming the person that you're meant to be. But like I was saying, this is the uncomfortable phase. Um, there's a snake there and a, like a snake sheds his skin. Like I was saying, with the cocoon phase and the rose, like it's blooming and you're, or you're coming out of the um, the cocoon. Um, yeah, you're shedding your the you're shedding your skin so it can be quite uncomfortable and things are going to arise but you're integrating everything that you've learned in this part in this lifetime so all your past traumas and stuff may be arising um to be healed and released um but you're integrating it you're learning how to work with it is what i'm getting not um be beat up by it like you know like i don't know um you're not suppressing it no more um, you're learning, learning to um, accept it, is what I'm saying. Seeing what I'm seeing. Um, and then your next card is teaching. Um, so some of these may be teachers, um, or you should be teaching people what you're experiencing. Even like I was saying before, um, if you, even if you do a little YouTube video on your ex life experience, whether you've been depressed, anxious, um, had past trauma, um, had drug or alcohol problems if you sh like share um, information about your experience it will reach someone out there with the billions of people in the world it will reach someone so it doesn't matter what your experience just share your knowledge and insight with people um, because people need help people need help and one video could change someone's life so that's why um, <laughs> I try to encourage people to use their platform to just share what they can. Um, some of these are meant to be teachers working with kids. Some of these are spiritual teachers. Um, some of you, your birthdays are on the 14th as well. Um, these are growing. These, are gr these need to ground at the moment, but your roots are sinking deep. And you're, 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 at this current time, you're setting the foundations for yourself. The roots are going deep um, so you can grow upwards is what I'm getting. Um and then the next card is joy so after all this experience when you've done all the shedding and release work and healing um you're going to be um ascending is what i'm seeing and like yeah like i was saying like the butterfly like i was saying you're coming out of the cocoon and becoming the butterfly so you're going to begin to going to begin to fly as soon as you're out of this um this uncomfortable phase um yeah, so things are looking up. So things are look on a spiritual level um, where you're currently at in your journey. Things are looking, um, yeah, things are looking good, man. Things are looking good. Um, and because it's a general reading, I, I come up in the reading as well. So it's so weird when I'm reading the cards. So I've got to try not to, um, try to put my, my things in there as well. But um, if you like the video, guys, like, share, subscribe. Don't be shy. I see you guys watching but not liking. Um, if any of you guys are interested in the personal reading, send me a DM. <laughs> Or you can send me an email. Um, my reading's actually half price at the moment. So if you guys are interested, hit me up. And um, yeah, I'm going to hit you guys up real soon when I've got another video. Or get guided to give you some more guidance anyway. Um, peace, love and light tribe. I'm going to hit you guys up real soon.